Now it's shirt off their backs as the fans come out. And there, there are going to be some happy Rangers fans. <laughs> you can see coming out on the ice, no matter what their age, we, we, it's unbelievable. Ranger fans are the absolute best. They're wonderful fans throughout the world of hockey. But nothing beats Ranger fans and their loyalty and their enthusiasm. Rangers still have one more game to play. We hope you'll join us tomorrow night on MSG. We're on the air at 6.30 with Rangers game night. And then at 7 o'clock, final game of the regular season, the Rangers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Good to see Pavel Buchnevich smiling. That youngster was serious-minded. Early in the season, he found things the going tough it was some tough love being handed out by the coaching staff and he responded and has really had an outstanding finish to his season with one more game to play yeah he uh, you're right Sam I mean it's it just took him a while to catch on but you know what when you recognize talent and as David Quinn has said before his job is to make try to make these players better on a daily basis and finally something clicks, and it clicked for Buchnevich. I mean, it really did. I mean, he's turned himself into a player that, you know, a so-so player that when he was out of the lineup didn't make a difference into a player that became a difference when he played. And this is, this is great stuff. Uh, Mick is a bandage ad with a young fan. Yeah. See how they fit their heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Henrik Lundqvist. How would you like to see the results if all them had heart <laughs> monitors on right now that these players wear during practices? Keep the doctors close. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot to look forward to. And people recognize it. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. The fans do recognize that. And the, uh, the other thing is, Joe, it doesn't stop. Fans always acknowledge and really appreciate the seeing these young players come along and seeing them play important minutes and seeing them grow as players during the season. Well, it's hard for fans to lose popular players, and that's what's happened over the course of the last few years. But it's the responsibility of the ownership and management to try and win championships which is exactly what they want to do and so they're the ones that have to make the difficult decisions and try to figure out how to best do that and so they've done it and they continue to make those types of moves and grow and there's an enthusiasm you know amongst this amongst this group that has become very infectious. The interaction between the players and the fans, something to see as well. Rangers now with the t-shirt toss into the crowd. Brendan Lemieux, he's yeah. getting a good feeling of what it's like to be in New York and yeah. play in New York, be part of these Rangers. There's nothing like it. The fans head off. The Rangers head off with one more game to play in Pittsburgh tomorrow night. The shirts off their back. A lot of smiles. A lot of smiles on the faces of the fans here. At yeah. the garden. Yeah, Kevin Shattenkirk with the little girl there, and he's gonna be a father this this summer. Henrik Lundqvist, always the true professional and a been a favorite here in New York for a long time for all the right reasons. <laughs> Getting a little goaltending <laughs> advice uh, from a fan. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
outstanding. And to the fans who are here, when you watch this on the replay, thank you for your wonderful support. We'll thank you again tomorrow night. But these fans are wonderful. They've been wonderful to the players. They've been wonderful to the organization and wonderful to us. And we can't thank you enough. Hi. Those are nights to remember, moments to remember for the young fans. Fans of all ages, something special to be here.